are slowly starting to rise. 70s uh, more likely in some of those interior valleys. It's all courtesy, again, of a high-pressure system building in. We've done pretty good this month so far. Rain totals have been extremely impressive. We're still sitting at about eight over eight inches of rain that we've collected so far. And speaking of rain, after the strong wind event, pushing into the latter half of this weekend, we're looking forward to more rain chances. In the meantime, yes, we are tracking the area of high pressure. Look at this dry slot. Those ascending winds are going to get a little extra support we call that thermal support and that's going to enhance the flow offshore and then beyond that we're looking into saturday a little bit more clouds roll in but sunday more green spreads into the area in southern california and then more widespread rain and heavier possibly into monday so it looks at least this far uh, things of course can change that we could possibly receive under a quarter of an inch of rain with the system and snow levels could drop down to as low as the 3,500 foot level and we'll be watching the pass as well. So Monday, we'll be looking for the potential for precipitation. In the meantime, we're dry, we're warm, and eventually we'll be windy. Now traffic conditions, we're gonna head you over to the University Park area on the northbound side of the 110. To the westbound side of 10, transition, we're getting word of a stalled vehicle currently blocking the left lane of traffic. And Anaheim, take a look at our Caltrans camera. 91 at East Street looks good at this early hour. Come back over to you. All right, so coming up.